Alright everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to take two lithium batteries and relocate them inside your trailer, so stay tuned. Alright everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. So we are continuing our series here on our electrical um, RV battery upgrade. If you didn't see our first video, go ahead and check it out. I'm going to link it right up here where we replace our RV uh, panel to a lithium ready panel to be able to charge these guys and this is the next step in the process where we're going to take these two batteries build a battery box and start running our wiring to be able to integrate it into our lithium panel and also to relocate these batteries inside our coach instead of on the front tongue of the trailer so as you can see um, in this part here uh, we have found a nice little cubby space right underneath our pantry for our batteries to sit where we can build a nice little box. And the reason why we chose that, some people put them in their front passer, which is fine, but we're trying to limit the amount of wiring that we're going to have to run. And so with us putting these in the pantry area here, we only have a short run to get to a distribution block that we're going to put in and also... Uh, be right close to the panel area there which will make everything very nice and convenient obviously you can relocate these things wherever you want but this was the best thing for our application so that's what we're going to go with uh, so we kind of have a rough idea on our clearances and kind of what we want to do so I guess the next thing is is start to build the base for these batteries and take these things out of the box for the first time and kind of dive into that so let's get to building so let's go ahead and show you guys kind of what we're working with here we've got two line safari ut 1300 lithium ion batteries each battery putting out 105 amp hours of boondocking power which will give us 210 amp hours total let's go ahead and tear into this box here and kind of show you what you can expect Nice packaging, nice thick styrofoam packaging there. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. And that's what she looks like. Uh, definitely uh, the thing that stands out here are the two lugs on the top of the battery uh, that give you multiple different ways to hook the batteries up. You can go directly into the base or you can actually go into the top here with these connectors that they have in here. You also got your user manual, got all your warranty information, how you actually can hook these batteries up, which is pretty cool. And in the bottom of the box, you also have uh, these wing nut connectors. You've actually got two sets of them in here. One set, oops, one set for the top. And then another set that if you didn't if you didn't want to have the lug, you could actually go right into the battery itself to make things easy to take on and off. So, pretty cool. The one thing that uh, Lion does also recommend is that you also uh, completely charge these batteries up before starting to use them, which we will um, be doing here. We borrowed a lithium battery charger. Make sure it's a lithium battery charger or you won't get it up all the way. So we'll take a look at this here. It says we're at 60% charge right now. So we definitely got another 40% uh, to get this thing up. So that is next on the agenda for these. And then we're also going to start uh, mapping out building our base to um, our battery box here. So, so when we wire this thing up, that positive line is going to go out. That negative line is going to come out here to our shunt and then go across the back side um, onto our distribution block. So now we got our correct setup. Let's go ahead and start scribing everything. Here, measuring our batteries out. Thirteen inches is our number. I'm gonna put these on the front, on the back.
we got everything built here. You're probably gonna ask why did I use two by fours instead of just the, the half inch pine. I just wanted it to be a little bit more sturdy on the box there. I'm also gonna attach a shelf on the back side here. So I definitely want something solid to support to. So I figured this was, this was good for that. So let's see how our batteries fit. Pretty good. Now they got a, just a twitch of wiggle room and I want to just a little bit just be able if I need to get these things out of here that they're not sandwich tight. We are also going to strap these things across and uh, definitely secure them in that way. But we've got our basics for our box actually built here. So we just got back from the store. We picked up some items here. We picked up uh, everything we need to finish this project here. We got this cam strap. Uh, and I like this one um, to hold the batteries down and it wrap, it'll wrap all the way around the box here. But what I like about it is it, it's got this little, you know, nylon rubber piece here so it doesn't mar the batteries. So that'll be a nice little added bonus there. And we're back over. We just got done uh, test fitting everything over in the trailer. Everything seemed to go and uh, look smooth in there. We figured out we were going to put our 200 amp uh, fuse uh, right on the side of the box here. So we are now at uh, cable time here. So the tools that you're going to need to be able to, to uh, manage this kind of cable here, it's really thick stuff. Uh, it's 2 gauge or 2 watt. And so the things that you're going you're gonna to need is a, a set of cutters. We just went and picked these guys up yesterday. Hopefully those will work out good. You're gonna need your lugs. And the thing that will definitely save your life is having a crimping tool or something to crimp uh, the wires with. I love using something like this. It just makes it real easy to get a nice quality uh, crimp on there that you know isn't going to fail. So we're going to use that. We're going to measure this out first. I've got our negative wire here. We're going to make our first jumper from one end to the other. We're just going to measure it out. Maybe give just a little bit of extra and if it does it can bow you know either direction here. It's, it's not a big deal. We'll have a little bit of extra room. So yeah probably somewhere in there make that cut and now that we've made that cut we're gonna have to cut back and expose some of that wire huh. that worked out pretty good lost only a couple of strands there but yeah so now we've got our end exposed make sure to get all those pieces of wire in there it looks like a pretty good connection there so now we just have to crimp it down but before we do that the other player to the party here is our shrink wrap and it looks to be a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be but uh, so we're definitely gonna maybe cut it somewhere in that range there now also make sure when you're crimping these, the first one doesn't really matter, but you definitely want to make sure the second one is lined up on the flat so that you get a good, you get a good clean deal. You don't want it like going crazy like that. So the first one, not necessarily that big of a deal. We're going to get this in here. Now we got it in there real good. Give it that last little press start cranking and then let that go and now you got yourself a clean little crimp there that looks really good so we're going to do that again to the back side here and repeat that process about 500 more times you know it's probably hard to see but we definitely got that thing nice and flat on there. We're going to give it a good push. Look at that. It's pretty. 
Got it a little bit twisted, not too bad. Hopefully the next one will do a little bit better, but now let's put our shrink wrap on. All right, so we're getting ready to lay that shrink wrap on there now, so we're gonna light up our torch here. I definitely need to get a torch with one of those easy starts. Just gonna gently get that thing warm. Get that thing to start to shrink up. You definitely don't wanna burn it. Take your time with it. Just kind of graze it side to side here. You can see it just will just shrink right up. Don't have to be an animal about it. You can use a heat gun too. And there you go. Nice, clean shrink wrap. All the way done. So we only have to repeat this process now probably about 15 more times at least. Uh, so I'm going to cut down all the wires first, then do all the, the lugs, and then we will shrink wrap the rest of these when it's all done. So we'll get back out with you guys here in a little bit after I spend probably another hour or so uh, cutting lines. So we'll get after it. So we got all of our top end wiring uh, done that we can do to the batteries themselves. And it turned out really good. We got all the heat shrink and everything on there. And that's the value of being able to do some of this stuff mobily, not in a tight spot. We did as much wiring as we could uh, out of my trailer as much as possible. So now we gotta go into the trailer and do the rest of the tethering of all the rest of the wiring we will not be bringing our batteries for this go around because everything that connects to the battery has already been fitted and plus we still have one battery left to get up to a hundred percent so we're going to let that sit here and charge uh, but we're going to go take everything over to the trailer and start mounting and then running the last little bit of the wire so let's go ahead and head over to the trailer and by go back to the trailer, I mean come back inside the house. Uh, we didn't film the rest of uh, the install process. It was just too tight in there uh, to do, but we're going to kind of talk to you a little bit about how it went and how the system's actually been performing for us. So we were going to put it in this area right next to our pantry underneath, kind of tucked away. Uh, we decided uh, at the last second uh, when I went back over to the trailer to try a different location. It actually ended up working a little bit better to actually put everything kind of under the sink area there. There was a lot more room and everything just kind of laid out a little bit better. So uh, we definitely did that. We changed it up and it was just really tight in there. So we really didn't film with that process. So we'll just kind of walk you through kind of what the rest of the system was looking like. So off of our panel, we ended up um, taking everything to a, um, a, a bus block. And then from there, distribute using that as a distribution and then kind of just um, feathering that out to uh, the batteries and everything else and to the cutoff switch and it just really turned out a lot better and as you can see from you know these pictures here everything is laid out real nice uh, the cutoff switch everything just it just worked real flawless right where we put it which was amazing uh, plus we also got that Victron smart shunt controller in there as well kind of tucked away and it has been working for us really well. We're actually going to do a review on that a little bit later down the road, but it, it's it been working really good. We're, uh, we've actually had the system in the trailer now for over four months and uh, it's been bulletproof. These batteries have been great. The whole system has worked just the way we wanted it to. Uh, we love going to places to go dry camp and everybody's got their generators out and using everything. And we really haven't been bringing the generator along on most of our trips that we've been out dry. So it's been working out flawless. 
uh, definitely that lithium upgrade it's a little bit of a steep price to pay but not having to lug around a generator at times and actually you know just being able to go out and camp now do we live in our trailer no we camp in it we um, only have a little inverter right now that we've been using to power the TV with but either than that we really haven't needed uh, to use a lot of the you know 110 side of the house because we're out camping we're not necessarily living in it so it has worked out really good we've never really run out of power with everything and it's it's just been clutch for us uh, so we definitely love the upgrade so if you guys have any questions about lithium or how we put on our lithium system or kind of how about about the wiring process or anything revolving around this, go ahead and make sure to drop us a comment in there. Give us your feedback maybe about your system, your wants, your needs. Uh, we definitely want to make sure we're helping out and answering some questions if I've got the answers. So make sure to drop those below. And if you've gotten some out of these videos where we installed that lithium panel and also did this battery relocation for our new lithium system, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you do not miss any more of our RV travel, our destination travel, our RV mod videos, our campground reviews, all the things make sure to uh, make sure you're subscribed for that but until then we'll see you guys in the next adventure